say we're in the business of using oil for our cars. We're a yeah. local business. We're willing to pay you a dollar a gallon for what you use in a year. And I'll pay it to you right now. And do they do they laugh or are they like, oh yeah, for sure? I mean, do they know what you're well, doing a lot already? Of, or a lot of not? companies are already tied up under contract. Okay. Um, pretty much everyone, when I show them four or five hundred dollars in cash, yeah, and I can pay it right now, yeah, they're pretty happy with that. Yeah. For us, we don't want to be in the business of traveling all over the state to find oil. We're happy with six or seven restaurants. We could probably take another six or seven on. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a win-win again for everyone, and that what a better business deal, right? Yeah. And how long will the will the is the retrofitted? The conversion will last for the life of the car. For the life of the car. Okay. Pretty much. So it's not like you have to up, update no. it. Or as long as you're pretty good with putting clean oil in without water, uh, you should be fine. Now what they've done here is they've taken out the spare tire and they've put in a stainless steel tank which is 13 gallons. On this tank alone I could run 500, 500 miles on it. So this car could go down to Florida without ever stopping. This, a big plus. We were wondering if it was going to smell like fries in the car, and it didn't. But I do smell a little bit of vegetable oil back here, but that's it. It's very faint, and it's not like some of the things I've read from a few years ago where, you know, people talk about smelling like McDonald's. It doesn't at all. Well, it smells like McDonald's when the car is running outside out of the tailpipe. Oh, does it really? If you're standing yes. outside the car. Ooh, and our awesome. pickup trucks, uh, because the tank is outside in the bed, you can definitely smell it because it this tank is heated for the cold winter months, so it warms the vegetable oil up. So when you're outside the pickup truck, you can smell the hot oil. Yeah. Right. But in the car, it's great. Right. So why did you decide to pursue this this kind of oil over like compressed natural gas for your fleet? Um, the cars themselves are more expensive. 